Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Jersey, and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be covering the last announcement from developers before we get version one here in Stormworks. Now, before we get started with this video, if you are enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and make a little bell icon to be notified from upcoming content as soon as it gets posted. And don't forget to join my Discord server and also follow me over on Twitter to see any updates way before it hits YouTube. And while you're watching, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and what else you'd like to see in my future videos. So that all said, let's get straight into it and get started with this video. So with less than one week left until we get version one and Stormwork comes out of early access, we are counting down until it gets released next week, Thursday. Now with this, obviously the devs are gone and made the last announcement until we get version one here in game. Now, the first thing they have gone and addressed is the price increase again. Now, with this note, they have said, of course, as we've already been told previous amounts of times, is that the price is increasing on September 17th by 25%. Of course, now is the time to purchase the game if you haven't done it already. Now, with this, there is a whole bunch of features that we are getting in version one. And devs here have gone and recapped what we are going to be expecting next week, Thursday. Now, the first thing that they are pointing out is experimental branch. We already have got this announced and already know that this is coming. Now, when we get launched with version one next week, we are going to be also getting experimental branch. Now, going back, I think probably about a year ago, we did also have an experimental branch here in game and they're bringing this back, which is a really nice thing to see. With this, they said this is going to be a nice way for players to obviously experiment with new updates and new features way before it hits the stable branch. Now, we already know that on launch, we're going to be getting access to the new modular engines here in game. So pretty much you don't have to wait until they get released into the full version. You can straight away on day one, jump into experimental and go and check them out. To switch over to experimental branch on Thursday is pretty simple. Uh, I will be doing a video covering how to do it and we'll actually go and have a little in-depth look at the new module engines at the same time. So definitely keep an eye out for that video coming very soon. Along with that, uh, we are also getting the new Lua game modding. Now, the new Lua game modding is pretty cool. It allows us to do a whole bunch of new things with scripting. We can write missions, we can do actions, we can pretty much do anything we want. And this is gonna be a really cool thing to see what people are going to build, especially with missions here in game. Now, the most thing I'm excited about the new Lua game modding is the ability to have more server settings. Now, this will allow us to see who's joining the game, what vehicles they're spawning in, and we'll be able to control it using the new Lua script, which is really pretty cool. Along with that, we of course are getting first person characters. We always did have first person mode, but you didn't actually see yourself. It was almost as if you had a camera on top of your head, but you didn't see anything. So the nice thing about this is we're going to be getting a full body where we'll be able to look around our body at the same time, see the tools that we have on us, see our feet, see our hands, see everything around us, which is really pretty cool. Now, along with the first person body, we of course know that we are going to be getting first person tools and equipment. Now we're going to be having an inventory on our player where we can go and store it. Obviously you'll be able to go and store your torches, binoculars, compasses, um, probably some repair tools, obviously firefighting equipment, rescue equipment, ropes, hoses and cables and much more. Expect the inventory on yourself to be quite limited. Obviously you won't be able to carry that many things, um, but it's still cool that we will be able to carry a multitude of different items and obviously have them stored in our vehicles at the same time. Now, moving on to the next feature, we of course have the new spreadable fire, which was a announced last week. Now we know that the new spreadable fire is going to be a really cool feature and it's really going to be bringing fires to life here in game. We always used to have spreadable fires especially with trees however now it's actually going to be coming to vehicles. So imagine this that in your ship you have something that catches on fire that could actually spread to the entire ship and it could be on fire very quickly. So this is really cool and of course with that in comes the new handhold equipment from hoses to fire extinguishers, pretty much anything you need to obviously go and put out the fire. So it's really quite cool and also will mean that you need to take this into account when you are building your creations here in game. Now moving on to the next thing, which is going to be the new career and missions. Now the new career and missions is going to be quite nice where you're going to be, of course, have a bunch of brand new missions that you can go do here in game and a whole brand new career mode that you can go and tackle. Now, with these new missions, of course, they are using the new Lua API to build these missions, which means you're pretty much going to be built. You're not going to be actually 
using the same mission over and over again. Obviously before version 1 we did have a limited amount of missions and you would be replaying them over and over and over and over again. Whereas now they are completely dynamic and will be based on pretty much anything that happens in the game. So this is really quite nice. Along with this we also get the new logistic missions here in game which is actually a really cool feature. Once again the devs said they are using the new Lua API to obviously build these and introduce these cargo terminals in game. Now the cargo terminals are quite nice because we'll be allowed to go for example to the let's say to the starter island or maybe over to the creative island you'll see some cargo there and it will have a destination point where we'll need to go and take it to so this is quite cool so you can instead of for example completing missions to get money or maybe doing fuel runs uh, you could instead now actually focus your career mode on actually transporting uh, containers this is quite nice. Along with that, the dev said they were also going to be getting a brand new tutorial here in game. Obviously, they said that it is going to be quite brief and quite basic, but it's going to be quite nice and non-intrusive in comparison to other types of tutorials. Along with that, we also are getting a brand new video tutorial series to help players get started here in game. And of course, there is only one person that could have done that, and that is myself. Yes, we have got some brand new tutorial videos that are be coming out on version one next week, Thursday that are going to be taking you through the different stages of building your own creations here in Stormworks. Now moving on to that uh, we have actually seen a little screenshot they've gone and posted here in the announcement this week and that's going to be the new customizational menu. Now with this you can see there's a beautiful creative menu and there's a whole bunch of things that we can go and change on the fly in the game instead of actually when we start the new map which is really quite nice now of course we can of go and change maybe the current time um, but another really cool feature here is we can change the day night duration this is something we weren't be uh, we weren't obviously able to do beforehand and we can also change the sunrise the sunrise and the sunset time and this is all live while we're playing the game which is a really cool feature and i think is an absolutely awesome uh, of course we can change the weather as we always used to be uh, but we can actually go and change the wind direction this is another cool feature that is something new that's coming along with that there is a bunch of different tick boxes that we can go and turn on and off uh, vehicle damage npc player damage sharks megalodons uh, we can do auto refuel infinite money and the two big ones here is infinite electricity and infinite fuel uh, this is a really cool feature obviously i think a lot of players are going to be excited being able to turn this on and off as they want to when they're playing this new custom mode uh, on the right hand side map plays we can always turn that on and off uh, map vehicles uh, 3d waypoints first person vehicle first person mode uh, allow name plates uh, another two really 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 cool features here for me allow no clip and allow teleport i think these are the two most important tick boxes or features in this customized manual that i think i'm going to like being allowed to do no clip and just fly around the island or fly around anywhere you want to is a huge 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 necessity i think here in game especially for someone for myself like who likes to record videos and likes to go to a lot of places and get a lot of shots this is a really cool feature and also allow teleport allow teleporting means you can pretty much click anywhere you want on the map and teleport to that location once again a really cool feature especially for multiplayer and also for doing uh, missions and so on and so forth not so much your career missions but in terms of creative where you quickly just want to do things this is a really cool nice feature a couple other things here uh teleport vehicles vehicle spawning photo mode respawning yep 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 pretty straightforward and there's a couple cool features on the right hand side now two of them we know already spawn tsunami megalodon yep don't really worry about them but another cool feature is clean all vehicles this is really cool especially when for example you're doing a multiplayer and you're playing with all your friends or maybe you have a save game where you've got a lot of creations where you've left around one click cleaned all the vehicles throughout the map nice feature uh, along with that reveal the map another cool thing playing in custom mode you're doing a little bit of exploring you're testing some vehicles one click of the button you can reveal the whole map and you can now go and teleport or fast travel to any location on the map really cool feature and i think is a really nice one uh, another one is unlock all islands this was a feature that you could obviously do when you started a new game but having the ability to obviously do it in game nice nice feature uh, along with that the last thing that we are getting next week thursday is of course going to be the new weather simulation and seasons 
Obviously, Dev said, and they've already mentioned it before, that we're obviously going to be able to see uh, on our map screen, we're going to be able to see the weather that's going to be incoming, whether it's wind, fog, rain, snow, etc. We're going to actually see it in live time, and it's going to be completely dynamic. Now, uh, once again, really cool, especially if you're playing career mode and you, let's say, you need to go from the creative island over to the mainland or soy islands instead of just heading a beeline directly to there you might need to keep into consideration the weather that's forming around that area for example you can see there's a big weather storm coming along that's close let's say to the north of the soy islands you might want to go down south to make sure that you avoid that depending on what type of creation that you're using whether a plane a helicopter or a boat obviously if you're using a helicopter you don't want to be flying through 100 percent winds whereas if you're using a boat once again Winds mean big waves, so you might want to be careful of that. So that's pretty much about it for what's coming next week, Thursday. Obviously, expect a lot of content here on my channel uh, before release and also after release. So definitely keep an eye on that. And I can't wait to obviously share all this brand new content with you. And I can't wait to obviously play the game. Uh, and I'm sure all of you can't wait either. So only a few days left. Obviously, keep an eye out on my channel. I'm just going to give you this little hint right now. Definitely going to be a lot of content coming your way. And as always, guys, I hope you have enjoyed these videos and found them entertaining and informative as always. And we'll see you next week.